Hello, it's Thursday the 7th of January 2016 and the recovery continues, boys and girls. I'm continuing to recover slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. In fact, I'm feeling so recovered today that I'm going to go to... Is that a crease? That, uh, just a minute, I'm sure it looks like it's... it's oh, it is a crease, look. Is that gone? Oh, it hasn't. Is that gone? Where, is it a little... Sorry, I can, I can spot that. Is that gone? I think it's gone now, is it? No, it hasn't. It's still there. Oh, I can't bear anything creased. I might, do you know, I'm my own worst uh, self-critic. I am. I watch these things back sometimes. It horrifies me. Why on earth you want to spend part of your day watching this old rubbish I chuck out at you a few times? Anyway, as I say, the recovery is increasing, boys and girls. Uh, the penicillin uh, tablets appear to be working. They're quite large, you know. I should have bought one up, actually. They're big white things. And I have to take three a day of those uh, eight-hour intervals. And you are supposed to stick to that kind of eight one, you know, seven to nine, I suppose, really. So eight hours, you know, maybe an hour earlier, an hour later, somewhere in between that. And Wendy says that it's very, very important to keep to those. Otherwise, the level drops down and the evil bacteria inside me that have been damaging me and put me out of order for a few days may uh, uh, reproduce again inside my body. Oh, horrible thought. There's things inside my body reproducing. Oh, God. What a dreadful thought. Oh, this is not a porn programme. We're not going down that route, dear. No, we're not. Anyway, I will be going to work tonight. I've decided... Um, I have to admit, Thursday's quite an easy night. You know, I really just... Uh, but that creases back. I can't stand it. Just a minute. Just a minute. Where is that now? This was bound to happen. I have the gun stapler. Yes. Hang on, is there any staples? No. Oh, a minute. Staples. I always use the wrong bloody ones. Hang on, what are these ones? Do they look... They look about right. Let me try that now. They're just... Yep, they look the right ones. The gun staples. Just a moment. Now, where's the quiz again? Let me have a look on there. I can see it. It's there. There it is. There. There it is. Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, and is that one there? Is that one there as well? Or is that it? No, that's it. Done. Good. I can't bear little faults that I play. Because, you see, the thing is, if I don't fix that now, someone will notice and send in an email. When a bloke yesterday moaned that the date was wrong. So you may have noticed the show was taken down and then re-uploaded and edited. Oh, yes. You know, there are people who watch this programme. They watch this programme not for the content in it, but to, to check that I haven't made any mistakes. That's all they do. They sit there, trawling through it, you know, second by second. I bet they put it on slow motion, and they're like that, waiting for a mistake or something. You remember Colm in Brighton, you know, complained that there was... He, he actually spotted there was a bit of mirror missing on the mirror ball. I had to go out and buy a bloody new one. You know... Please just enjoy it for what it is, if you are enjoying it. I wouldn't, so I'm going to work tonight, and uh, I'll see how that goes this evening. And uh, we, can't, we can't afford to continue to take time off, dear. Hundreds of pounds I've lost, dear. Hundreds. Hundreds. Shall have to put my rents up. It's awful. Uh, now, before we carry on, very, very important. It is Ben's birthday today. Happy birthday, Ben. What a shame I haven't lined up. I, I, I will try and sing it. Even, even though, even now, no, even though I have my voice, I will now try and attempt to sing happy birthday to Ben, but all round good guy. Mr. Nice will do anything for you. You can trust him with your life. Mr. Ben Parker. to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Ben happy birthday to you oh oh well that came out a little bit better than I thought it would do happy birthday Ben and thank you so much for filling in all my jobs uh, while I was away you've got to be very very careful 
and Ben will agree with this, you've got to be very, very careful who you put in to do your jobs when you're away. Because some people have been known to steal jobs from underneath some people's feet here. No, not me. But I've heard it happen before. Yes. Yes. I've filled in for people and been offered their job. I've never, never taken them. Never, ever taken them. It's right. I just think that's so wrong. That really is. You know. I mean, if, if six months down the line you phone again, then that's a different story. But, you know, while someone's ill or off on holiday or something. And although I have to say, you know, that's how it is in the, in, in the business that we're in, in the business of show. You know, that is how it is. That's how it works. Someone, not necessarily better, but someone different comes along. And, oh, let's give that a go now. And then thank you very much. Thank you for bye-bye. Hello. That's how it works. One of those things. So happy birthday, my lovely friend, Ben. 217 years old yesterday, aren't you, eh? <laughs> he does help me out a lot, Ben. Now, um, you may remember last Saturday, I went to um, uh, my friend's house for dinner. That's just before I become uh, uh, quite ill on the Sunday. Um, well, I mean, I was already there. It, I was already not well, but I was trying to work through it. And then come the Sunday, I was just finished. Um, and on the way home, I did say I might pop into the pub to collect my post, and indeed I did. So I'm now going to read you uh, some bits and pieces. Now, there are some Christmas cards here. There's some Christmas cards as well. I don't know, it's a bit late, but this is the first time I've received them. So here we go. First of all, look who it is. It could be a very young Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And this is from Wendy and her little dog, Max. To Chris and Katie, all the best for 2016. Thank you for that, Wendy. That is not all that Wendy has sent me. Oh, no. There's more to... No, no wait. Wait. Don't rush me, dear. Don't rush me. I don't like to be rushed. OK? Hello to Merlin, who is a internet FM radio type person. That's Merlin there. That must be his boyfriend. I didn't know he had a boyfriend. So, um, uh, um, uh, Merlin was, dear Chris, uh, happy Christmas from Merlin and Jason. Oh, it's Jason, is it? Okay. Don't know Jason, but there's a, like a, a personalised Christmas cards, which is quite nice. Thank you for that. Um, there's one here. It's like a bit of a holy card, this is, which is quite nice. And as, as I guessed, holy cards must come from Matt in Canada. Chris, may God bless you this Christmas and always from Matthew and Heather. And they always send a lovely picture of themselves um, out there. That's Matthew there in Canada and Heather. Now, Canada is a place where it gets to like minus 40 degrees centigrade. Uh, clearly not in that picture, fortunately. So thank you for that. There's a little message underneath that. May God bless you and your family this Christmas and throughout 2016. Love always, Matthew and Heather uh, Martin. So thank you for that. All right. Thank you very much. It's lovely, lovely to get things like this. And did I show you the card? There's the card there that they sent. All right. Now, a very big envelope arrived. I'm pleased to say, here it is here. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. What could be in there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what did I do with that? It's downstairs. <laughs> or is it? Right, this has come. This has come here. Look at this. And a letter. This is what that big envelope was for. I'll read that. Look, this has come. Look, this here. Look, right? See, recognise that man there? Recognise that man? That is only the biggest and best entertainer that has and will ever be Mr. Barry Manilow. And the letter goes, Dear Chris, I was very lucky to attend two of Barry's recent Gift of Love concerts in Palm Springs. Yes, the shows were fabulous and the audiences had a blast. But apparently not... Look at this handwritten dear. Beautiful paper. Look at this here. Isn't that stunning? When did you last get a handwritten note? It's beautiful. Yes, the shows were fabulous and the audience had a blast, but apparently not all of the attendees were Manilo collectors because several audience members walked away leaving their programme booklets behind. 
Really? Why would anyone leave a Barry Manilow program booklet behind? That is beyond me. I think there are seriously some sick, sad people in this world. There really is, Debbie. Really is, dear. I couldn't allow these nice booklets to be left for the uh, sweeper when there are so many Manilow fans that might enjoy them. So here's one for you. The magazines with Barry on the cover were on display in the stores all over the town. I bought some extra copies to share. And the CD is all the songs you've heard before, but I've made a compilation of some of my favourite, less common Barry songs. So thank you for that. I haven't listened to them yet, no. I got your address from Wendy. Best wishes uh, from Debbie Martin. So thank you very much for that, Debbie. And here is a little sealed package, which I haven't opened yet. And I shall open this very carefully. I don't want to damage what's in. Oh, you've done this up well, haven't you, dear? Oh, it's a, like a self-sealing bag, is it? Oh, no, it's got, it's got tape on it. There we are. So let's have a look what's in here. Look, look at this. Look at this. So what we've got here, we have the Gift of Love um, concerts. If I remember rightly, uh, this is uh, to do with these concerts to raise money for charity. And in here, okay, so this particular concert, we want to welcome everyone uh, to what will be a most uh, enjoyable evening with the great Barry Monroe. And thank you for supporting the Barbara Sinatra Centre for Abused Children. We especially want to thank the sponsors listed below uh, for the December the 12th performance, along with Barry Manilow, and all who purchased tickets for the evening. Funds for the performance will help bring awareness to and treat child abuse in the, Co I think you say Coachella, Coachella Valley. And it's got a list of all the people there. And um, in here are printed various letters um, from various charitable organisations that Barry Manilow has helped. Let's just pick one at random. I can find a short, short one. Here we are. Desert Cancer Foundation. Desert Cancer Foundation is truly appreciative of the support being provided by Mr Manilow and the generous patrons and attendees of this year's A Gift of Love 3 concerts. The Mayor's an act of kindness and generosity to help our Coachella Valley and surrounding community residents in the midst of cancer care is to be applauded. And it's full of letters like that. And of course, a um, uh, lovely picture on the back of the uh, great man himself. Isn't that a wonderful thing to have? Thank you so much for that, Debbie. And here also is Palm Springs Barry Christmas. I think this isn't this isn't a Manilow magazine. It's um, a magazine that you get in Palm Springs that has, in this particular issue, a large piece about Mr. Barry Manilow. I think, if I, I, I'm sure I just flicked past it, something about Mr. Non Anonymous. I, 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 I would guess that he does a lot of um, charitable work. Yes, we do hear of some of it, but I bet we don't hear, hear all of it. I can't find the page now, so... Uh, oh, there it is. Hang on a minute. One minute. Mr. Generosity, it says. Sorry, not Mr. Anonymous. And it goes on there. Oh, fantastic. So thank you very much for those, Debbie. Like, they are really, really, really much appreciated, my darling. And I shall uh, go through those along with a little CD that you've attached on the front. Thank you, Debbie. And finally, it's arrived, boys and girls. Now, Wendy buys me one of these every year. The Barry Manilow calendar, which will be going. As you can see, there is a space for it already. Um, not sure which side yet. I'll, I'll decide which side is the better. So thank you very much for that. All right. That's all for today, gang. Uh, see you again soon. Once again, thank you for all your lovely get well uh, messages in that. Thank you so much. Thank you, really. I've got a bit more to go yet, but um, we'll get there in the end. Have a lovely Thursday, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da.